Hey Sandra, how are you today? Hey Chris, I am feeling wonderful, thank you. How are you? I'm okay, I guess. What's up? I just have this weird feeling that whatever I do, people watching will be bored. I am not sure I understand. Watch. I see. What can we do? Well, I know a guy, who knows a guy, who has a sister, who knows a guy. And he said that if you suffer from boring videos, the best thing to do is use more camera shots. So this guy. Do you think he knows what he is talking about? Maybe. Shall we give it a go? Okay, so how do we start? Well, this guy says you should always start with an establishing shot. What's that? It gives the viewer a better idea of where the action is taking place and who is in the scene. That sounds cool. What is ours? How is that? I like that. I am already more interested in you, Chris. I like the sound of that. Now from here the viewers have a much better idea of what's going on. They can see where we are who is around us, and they can begin to build up a sense of anticipation as they think about what may happen. Wow. This guy really knows what he is talking about. What should we do next? Well, it is probably best to stick to simple stuff for now. Let's try a mid-shot. Nice. What does this do, Chris? This gives the viewers a much better view of the characters in the scene. It is much easier to see any action they may do. Like this? Yes, Sandra, just like that. Ooh, what was that? This is a long shot. It shows the viewer the character's whole body. This is much better for my dancing. Sandra, please stop. Okay, fine. Did you see what I did there? What? I put a close-up in there to focus on your emotion. A close-up is often used to highlight emotion to the viewer. This is usually done by a facial expression. Now try looking happy. That's amazing. People can really see that I am happy. I know. If you use close-ups at the right time, it can add an extra dimension into your films. That's so cool. This whole film arc is pretty easy, really, isn't it? Yeah, this guy said that if you can use these different shots, even the most simple script can be transformed into something much more interesting. I can't wait to go and make my own film now. With these ideas, I really can make something good.